this. Let's open Google. Come on. Okay. And at the top, we're going to type in Calaveras. Oops. Calaverislibrary.com. You see that? Calaveraslibrary.com. And when you do that, this will come up. Push the Calaveras County Library, and then you open our website. And on our website, you'll find everything that you need, and I'll show you how to navigate all of this. Across the top, you see library, catalogs and renewals, requests, and locations and hours. For right now, those are the only, um, the only uh, tabs you'll need to use. In library, if you pull, come open that one, you can get, if you don't have a library card, that's going to be your first step. You want to go down here on this tab and the library card application will show up. You'll need to print that um, and because you do need to sign it with um, a wet signature and you need to bring that to us and we will issue you a card. Um, you, if you are getting a card for your child, you'll sign in the bottom part here for the parent or guardian to sign. Um, you will need to put in your um, driver's license number or a military ID number, passport number, something that identifies you. If your, your driver's license still has a former address or a different address, you can bring us um, the envelope of a bill or something that you have received. Um, at your home that shows that you do live there. When you bring this into us, we'll issue you a card and you'll have a number and a PIN and that will enable you to do everything that you want to do. All right, so we're going out of our library cards. Catalogs and renewals, we'll spend a lot of time here. I'll come back to that in just a moment and go through all of that with you. The request form is a form that will come up for you and you can fill this out online and submit it online. This is to request a book for purchase. If we don't have a certain book that you want, we can um, order that book for you. So you'll put the author and the title and the format if you want a book or a, an audio book, large print, whatever you want. We'll try to get that for you. You put your name and your personal information. And the reason that you do that is that we have a program from the State Library called the Zip Book Pro Program. This is enabling us to purchase books during this time of uh, uncertainty about our financial situations. This is a grant from the State Library and when you order, if we order your book through the Zip Book Program, it will actually be delivered to your home in, from Amazon. And you will open that envelope, read the book, and then bring it back to the library and um, put it in the book drop. Now, if you would help us by putting that book back in the envelope that it came in or another envelope, that way we can distinguish that this is a zip book because we need to do some work on that book when it comes in. Now, I just want to reiterate, when you put that book in the, in the book drop or any book in the book drop, we, don't, we pick up those books wearing a mask and gloves, we check out those books to quarantine, and they stay in the library for at least a week before they can be checked out again. So everything is safe that you will receive. On this, you will put your library card number. So that number will be on your card. And when you pick up your card, if you um, don't have one, we'll show you where that is. But for those of you who have cards, I'm sure that you know it's the 14 digits on the back of the card. Um, and you will give us the information, uh, your phone number, your email, and we will email you or call you about how this SIP book program works. And then you just push submit, and then you will have an order. We will get it electronically, and we will order that for you. All right, uh, locations and hours. I want you to see this one, this um, tab, because if you need to call your branch to ask about hours or anything, you can do that here. Here's the Angels Camp branch. If you open that link, it has the phone number there. Now these hours 
are not our hours now, as you know. We're not able to be open as we usually are, but you may need that phone number. All right, let's move down the website and see what else is here. I want you to note that we do have a link to public health. So if you are looking for up-to-date information about COVID-19, uh, we have that link for you and you can just come right there without having to move around in the county website anymore. Um, so, I want us to open this page. This is a, a page that we've created for, especially for this time. What is available? Um, what is online and what is available for us? So if you click that link, you will see all the hours that each branch has for pickup of the books that you put on hold. So all of them are serving the community right now, with the exception of West Point. I'm sorry we don't have delivery there, but if you designate another location like McKellamy Hill or San Andreas, you can certainly come and pick up your books there. So let's move down the website and see what else is here. We're going to spend a lot of time in this area. But before we do that, I want to quickly show you the rest of the website because during this time of shutdown and school closures, many vendors have made their digital resources and help for parent, for teachers and librarians and parents available for free. So we have put all of those on our website. Uh, Anki Library is a digital book uh, link and you can go here, uh, click this link and put in a book that you want to borrow and you can get it for free. Uh, Khalifa, our library support consortium, is making that available to us for free during this time. Um, Junior Library Guild is um, a, a book provider that we order a lot of children's books from and right now they are giving you free access to their digital collection so you can explore around in this um, website and uh, borrow books for your children that are age appropriate um, and excellent really excellent books they have all the award winners and so forth Gale Publishing is, has a wonderful um, research uh, website for you. You can find books about many, many topics. Uh, so if you are doing some study during this time, you can um, get education during this time of shutdown. So open learning, and you can see here all the different levels, children, middle school, high school, college, um, wonderful, wonderful educational resources available through that link for free during these hard days. Learner books, grades pre-K through 12, again, the Help at Home is going to give you access to lots and lots of resources um, from this excellent publisher. And it looks like, yes, there we go. So you can get all kinds of help from them preschool uh, to 5 and 6 to 12 distance learning. So please do use that one as well. Um, Random House, again, a lot of uh, resources made available to us. I won't take the time to open all of these links, but um, they're all just fabulous uh, and offer free help for you during this time. Abdo Books is another publisher that does a lot of nonfiction for children, just amazing free things. Scholastic Books, I know you all know about Scholastic Books from your children. Um, we have just subscribed to two new links that give uh, wonderful um, information to your children ages pre-K through third grade. We're looking at adding um, a third one that will take your children through elementary school, but they're fabulous things to watch during their, uh, in this, both books, reading books, and watching and learning from video. Teaching Books is um, a company which is, uh, we have a lot of their things on the website, 
but they are making things available to, to us during this time. You can see children's book collection is 51,750 books that your child can read digitally during this time. The teenage book, the teen books, uh, they're only about 18,000, but still fabulous things for your child or your young person. Mystery Doug is a fabulous guy who um, creates wonderfully interesting science um, lessons for children. They only last about five minutes. They're really interesting. And Mystery Doug, um, yesterday, or yesterday we found out that he is offering a free lesson to your child during this time. So do sign up for that. That will come to you from, through email. Now, you'll see over here there's a link to OverDrive. We'll talk about OverDrive uh, because that is on our, in our catalog. So when we go to our catalog, um, we'll do that. Now, on this page, we've created a link to the Catalog Plus. This will give you entry into our card catalog, and that's what that will look like. Um, we have a new card catalog that has um, so many more wonderful features for you. Much, I know it looks overwhelming because there's so much there, but it's really, really easy to use once you um, have played around with it a while. So at the top, um, you can log in with your library card, which I'm going to do. And my PIN. Now, if you don't know your PIN, you just give us a call and we'll give it to you. Just as a hint, some of you have used a another number that is um, in your life as your PIN. So you can think about those numbers and try various things. But just call us um, and we'll give you your PIN if you have forgotten that. Now it's saying welcome to me. So all of my information is here and whatever I do, um, the computer will know who I am. Now, I want to open this, uh, the, there are four links along here, Cat classic catalog. If you open this catalog and it seems overwhelming to you, you can push classic catalog and it will open um, the usual catalog, the catalog that you see if you come to the library and do a search. But I want to show you how much easier it is to use our new website. I will go back to that at the end and show you how to place a hold, but it's much more complicated uh, in, the, in this catalog than it is in the one that we're in now. Link Plus is our wonderful interlibrary loan service, which links us to 70 library systems around the state and about 11 million items. Unfortunately, so many library systems are closed completely during this time that this service is suspended uh, until after the crisis. The make a request is that very thing, that form that I showed you uh, on the website, uh, one of the tabs. So this is where you ask us to purchase a book for you. So it's right there as well. And then the library home will just take you back to the website. So let's look around this website. We're just going to go down the left-hand side and then up the right-hand side for you to see all the resources that are available to you with just a click here. These are the lists, New York Times bestseller um, lists, if you're interested in those. This is our uh, canopy link to free video streaming. I'm not going to go into this because it's very um, detailed, but uh, it, it's, it would take us a long time to get through it. But you put your library card number and you have access to this. Now, in Canopy, there are great movies. There are movies for children, but more in um, educational information for children and informational resources for children. Wonderful documentaries for you. Um, and the thing that I love gr so much about this is that it, it contains many great courses. I don't know if you've ever done a great course, but these are courses that are taught by usually a college professor or an expert in a field. And um, it's a, usually a six-week course, a 12-week course. These are all free for you during this time. Well, they're free always for, during, from the library, but they're even free from Canopy during these days. So do utilize this. If you've always wanted to learn to cook Mediterranean food, there's one. Uh, if you want to get an introduction to a language, you can do that. There are all kinds of wonderful courses that you can take during this time. 
uh, to use your time well. Uh, Archives Unbound is from Gale Publishing, and it is a great research with a lot of uh, old and um, archived uh, materials for you um, genealogists. There, there's some, some interesting things for you in there and many, many other things about California, particularly um, for us. Digital newspapers, the digital form of the Sacramento Bee, and the New York Times are here, free for you to use. RB Digital Magazines, this has about 70 magazines. You can download the app to your computer, to your phone, to uh, a tablet, and access magazines for free. And that's always available here on our website. All of these services are always available. Uh, Britannica School is here for you. It's a great little uh, encyclopedia at three levels. I'm not going to well, I'll log in. Why not? Oops, it didn't go in. Never mind. I'm not going to log in. But it has three levels. Uh, early children, uh, pre-K, 1, 2, and uh, then middle school and high school. So I find personally that the high school level is pretty good. I've learned a lot from that. Here is our OverDrive digital catalog. So this, if you want to uh, access a digital book from OverDrive, you, the usual way, this is where you go to do that. You open that and put in your card number, and it will be there. Um, so the teaching books, uh, other materials that we have on our website are here. And these we have always here. It's just book lists, uh, meet the author, award-winning books. It's more reviews and um, reader, uh, reader advisories. But remember that on our county website, Teaching Books has made, us, made available to us all their books uh, in digital form. So please take advantage of that. All right, so now you see what we have, all the digital resources. But remember, we also have all of our regular materials that you can come uh, and pick up. But you need to get those materials, you need to put them on hold. Now, I want to mention that when you place things on hold, there is a limit to the number of items that you can place on hold. You can only place five things on hold uh, per card. But if you come to the library and you say, OK, I really wanted uh, all you know, all, uh, more books in this series, or I wanted another kit for my other child, or something like that, we'll help you at the door. So you can place things on hold, come to pick them up, but we can, we'll also, we're also very happy to gather materials from the library for you. And remember, they've all been in the library for at least a week. They are all safe to go out to you. All right, so this is our catalog going by here. We won't use that um, unless we want to find that particular book. But if we did want to find Goodbye, Sweet Girl, we would say Find in My Library, and the, the entry would come up, and it would give me a summary of that book uh, and tell me where those books are. Okay, so we see here that Murphy's Branch is holding this book. You don't need to worry. If you don't live in Murphy's, you can still place a hold on this book because we are carrying on with our delivery service Wednesday and Friday, so books are still moving around the county. Again, the protocols that I described to you are in place in every branch. All of the books are safe for you to go out. All of the items are safe to go out to you. Now, you see on this page, you can place your hold right here. You just say, press, pay, play, whoops, pr place your, well, it's not staying there. Oh. Okay. Um, you tell me where you want to put to pick it up. If you want to pick it up at the Central Library in San Andreas, you just leave the, the, the selection like it is. But if you live in Valley Springs and you want to pick up in Valley Springs, then you scroll down and put Valley Springs. And then you place your hold. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to read that book. I have enough things I'm reading at home. But if you did, you just place it right there and it would place that hold for you. That would go into our records. We would pick that book up for you and send it to you from Murphy's or uh, pull it off of our shelves if it happens to be a book that we own. So um, please, uh, that's, I just wanted to show you this, um, how simple this is once you bring a book up. Let's 
go back. All right, now you can type at the top here. You see this is the search bar. So let's do three searches here. Let's do an author search. Sorry, I want to put it in as a, a capital. Uh, box C J. He is very popular. She is very popular right now. Let's see what happens. I totally typed it wrong because <laughs> I'm at a very awkward angle here. Let's see if I can get anything up. No, I'm not getting it. Sorry. Let me try that again. Box C J. Okay, let me just do that. All right, so it brings up all the books that we have written by C.J. Box, and there are 48 of those. So you can scroll through this, move from page to page, and find the book that you want. Um, and as you see right here, if I decide I want Below Zero by C.J. Box, I can place the hold right here when I open this. Again, we're on this screen. You tell me where you want to put it up and place your hold, and the book will be set aside for you. Now I want to show you if we put in just the word box up here, you're going to see that we get 516 things because it's going to you, it's not going to know that you want the author. You have music box, demon box, the worry box, the prayer box, the recipe box. So be as specific as you can if you're looking for an author. Put in their last name, but also put in their first name or at least their initials. Now, if you uh, are looking for a title of a book, you can also do that. So I want, my child wants some of the Wimpy Kid books. So I'm going to just type in Wimpy Kid and do a search. And it will bring up all of the books of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You see, I didn't have to put in diary because the, the computer was smart and it knew what I was looking for. So it got up all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid uh, for me. Now, notice if down here in the entry it says if it's available or not. If it's not available, that means it's checked out by somebody else. So if you really, really want one, go down and find one. Uh, that is available and place a hold on that book and you can do that again from right from here uh, So that is if you know the title now if you don't know a title, but your child is wanting to look up uh, things about dinosaurs You can type in the word dinosaurs And it is going to give you eventually <laughs> Come on. All right. It's not moving. Why is it not moving? Oh, you know what? This whole thing seems to be. Let me go back to my thing. Okay, let me start it here again. It seemed to be frozen on dinosaurs. Okay, let's put that in and search. Is it going to take me there? Well, it doesn't seem to want to do that for some reason. I don't know why. All right, well, let's try another one. Let's try that box again and see if we can get up those 516 items. All right, we did. So, as you look at that, if you want, you're looking for a book. I don't know why you would be looking for a book about a box, but <laughs> I can show you what I want to show you in this. Over here on the side, you have um, limit search results. So if you want to have an adult book, an adult fiction book, you can say that. And then it's going to bring up the books that are for adults about that topic, only the books about adults. Um, if you want to um, narrow it more by publication date, um, material type, you want a paperback book. So you can limit it that way. And there are 19 of those. So you, this, I wanted just to show you this 
on this side to show you that you can designate age, you can designate type of literature uh, or uh, media, you can designate a DVD, an audiobook, or whatever you might want to do. All right, let's go back to the, I'm just going to go back here, to the whole uh, catalog here. Now I wanted to show you these. Here are some icons. There are five icons. This is Steam Kits. These are our DVDs. These are all the books. These are our audiobooks. And these are our music CDs. So if we open Steam Kits, you are going to see a list of 75 Steam Kits that we have in our library for you to check out. Those are these kits I showed you over here on the table. Now, you're going to see that it labels them according to the type. On this first page, they are all Junior Steam Pioneers kits. These are for children ages 5 to 8 years old. But if we go to page, let's go to page 3 of these, you're going to see that there are two other kinds of kits. You still have the Junior Steam Pioneer, but you also have a, a Steam Pioneer kit. And the Steam Pioneer kit are those kits that are for the older children, uh, ages 9 to 14. So if it says Steam Kit, those are for the older kids. If it says Little Leapers Kits, those are for our children 0 to 5. So you can designate and you can sort over here, as I showed you. You can do the Steam 0 to 5, and it will only bring up the Little Leapers Kits for you. So now you just have a list of the Little Leapers Kits. Um, Let's see, we want to do, I don't know for some reason. All right, little, we want to include that little, the little leapers, you include those. So now you have the 18 little leaper kits. So you can pick something for your child, um, zero to five. You can do the same thing with the other two categories, um, the older children's kits or the, um, the middle age children's kits. All right, up here are our, is our DVD collection, and if you just push that, you're going to get a list of our 4,377 DVDs. So you can go through those, but you can also remember to limit your search to juvenile, fiction, nonfiction, whatever you want to do down here. And then we can also do that with the books, but of course you're going to see that there are 77,237 books. You probably don't want to skim through that, so use your, um, your limitations down here because you can limit by author, you can limit by um, age group and type, fiction or nonfiction, so do that. Audiobooks are here. 7,740 audiobooks. Again, you're probably going to want to limit your search so you can find what you're looking for. And then the music CDs are here, and you will see that you can limit your search by genre. Country music, rock music, jazz, pop, and so forth. So that will help you to know how to find those things quickly if you don't know a title. All right. So that is how you maneuver and manipulate our uh, website. Remember that we have lots and lots of digital resources available to us now. I hope that you will use those. They're free to, to your library, so we would love for you to utilize that free service. If you want to come and pick up items, you can use our website and get into our Catalog Plus and put things on hold and we will safely deliver those materials to you. We're so happy that the library is able to give service to our county during this time. Um, I know it's stressful and it's difficult for you having your children home, uh, being home yourself perhaps, but as you can see we have lots of help for you to fill your time and fill your time in an enjoyable way and fill your time with 
wonderful learning that you can do through books or audiobooks or DVDs or other resources that we have available to you. So please do check out the website calaverislibrary.com and it will guide you and show you everything that you need and I hope that um, this instruction that I gave you today is helpful to you. If you do not know what to do, just call. We're here to help you. The Central Library is, uh, st has staff operating um, basically our usual hours. Um, we're not open in the evening and we're not open um, um, just the evening because we do have someone there Saturday and Sunday as well. So pickup is easy and it's very accessible in San Andreas. And we are there to answer your questions and to help you uh, get the resources that you need to help you through. So thank you and welcome to the Calaveras County Library.